Minya Thomas Pa Alibabadi, the Chairman Consortium for Good Governance, Human Rights and Democracy. Minya Thomas Mokonte, Executive Director of Citizens Advocacy Network, CAN, and Spokesperson for Consortium for Good Governance, Human Rights and Democracy. My name is Marcos Bangua, the Executive Director for Democracy Sierra Leone, and the Secretary General for the Consortium for Good Governance, Human Rights and Democracy. Entity we comprise of independent civil society organizations. We get a mandate for intervene on areas we they deal with democracy itself, good governance, human rights issues, socio-economic justice, among others. So on the 17th and 18th of July, 2020, Kuskas be happen na Makini. The consortium go na Makini for actually investigate the crisis we happen. On the 18th of July, 2020, the Ministry of Energy send some people them, mainly security personnel, for take a generator na Makeni for transfer na Lungi, where arrangements beyond the force, but we not been done generator. So as a result of that, the people have become so suspicious that it been for lead to another thing. And on the 18th of July 2020, Makeni Tong become Kyoti Makeni na the district headquarter town of Bombali district. And a one of the strategically located Tondem na the northern province as a whole. And besides Makeni na the opposition stronghold. So where this tear so happen, we see say that we responsibility for go and forget facts. And this we call them the Makeni story. The youth are fighting against the motion. Seriously, stone in. Wise, as you can see, the chair gas is everywhere. In Happen for go and we meet with stakeholders. Primarily we meet with the mayor, Sunkai, Kamara, Chip. He tell we say, indeed, they'll be starting negotiation for the 1.65 megawatt generator for the transfer to Lungi. But it was inconclusive. There was supposed to be a written down document. We not come at all. And so then they create problem. And then go for the machine at night. We call this a suspicion. Now we go and see what happened at the hospital. She said, tell we say five people died. All of them namandem. Three students and two people away the cell. We see ten people away hospitalized. Two of them na woman sustained serious injury. Talk to the medical superintendent. We also tell we and give you a story about what happened on that day. Um, we further know what happened to the SLP party office. We go indeed, we see them pelt, serious stones them inside the building. Glasses and damage, but they're not born at all. And um, the party office not far removed from the ETSA office, outside the Utegi machine. And so we get for even stop by at the ETSA place and see outside the machine be there. We also further discuss with both the police and the military, the AIG and the Brigadier, they all have put up serious defense and that they can't take us. But we also discuss with residents of McKinney, we talk with the decision committee of McKinney, they express dismay and serious dissatisfaction about how the police and administration and even the military will come inside later, we can make the thing become worse. Um, we talk to the Comrade, we get them picking their so we didn't kill. A teacher did the way in my mother with them in picking the also ready. That was really unfortunate.
we recommend strongly that government institutes an independent judge-led inquiry into what is happening in Kenya so that the fact can come out. We they also recommend that all the ones that will kill, then they will provide them provide to their families, for provide, for give them befitting funerals, and let government take responsibility for the funeral cost. We all recommend that the families of the deceased persons be adequately compensated with the sum, with the sum of not less than 150 million each. That all the military personnel then, we will be found wanting of shooting or killing people or causing human rights abuses be suspended from the military and be made for face the full force of the law. We also recommend that the high police and military presence in Amakini will really cause panic for the people and the communities be relaxed and let allow the people to go about with the normal businesses. I also recommend that His Excellency the President, President Bio, we are the Commander in Chief and Fountain of Honor and Peace, imbibe the culture of showing compassion and empathy for in citizens in situations like this, as we don't see glaring display of insensitivity from the President in situations like this, we are going to kill citizens. And we need to see it show empathy or compassion. I also recommend that the international community engage President Bio and the government on the rising speeds of extrajudicial killings. Killings only take place unlawfully by security personnel which supposed to provide safety for the people of this country. We do recommend strongly that the military and the police be engaged in periodic trainings in order for upgrade their professional standards. We also recommend that these people of Makini remain calm and maintain the peace. Let them restrict themselves within the confines of the laws governing the land because this is a democratic state and that the law reigns supreme. We recommend staying with the under critical conditions currently be provided with adequate medical attention so that we will not continue for loss more citizens. And we will continue for advocate and recommend that the Ministry of Energy put in place measures for relocation of machines from one locality to the other. We will also recommend that civil society and the media work concertedly for educate, inform, and conscientize the people of this country on the things the way they really happen and for provide civic education. We want for also send we heartfelt condolences to all the bereaved families of the people the way they don't we don't lost their lives. And we want for see many souls Rest in perfect peace. Long live democracy, human rights, and good governance. God bless Sierra Leone. God bless us all.